happy Sunday morning, everybody. It's just before 10 a.m. And I started off the day with a nice long sit on the new sofa with my coffee, and I'm not mad about it. But then I realized I forgot to close the vlog, so we did that. <laughs> I know, you know, it's always something around here. Anyway, I've got to shred some junk mail, turn on the computer, check the YouTube comments and all of that stuff. I know we want to try to go for a walk today in between rainstorms. Um, but past that, I have no idea what we're going to do. So we'll see. Wow, the neighbor's yard's very overgrown. Um, anyway. So, you know, shredder. Anyway, I also, as I stated in last week's vlog, I'm going to pull some parts for a new emotional art therapy piece. And um, see what I have that I can use that I already own to create the piece that I'm thinking about. I also this week need to finish this painting over here, which has a nice base on it, but it definitely needs some contrast. It needs some highlights and some low lights in the painting, or what I call it, low lights, shadows, um, to really make the image and movement pop. Um, Cause yeah, it doesn't have that in it and it needs it. So. Those are the two things on the project list this week. So anyway, I guess I better get to it. I'll be back. being couch potatoes and go get some steps in while some blue sky is trying to come out right. yeah so gonna go see what we can see and we'll be back so at first we thought there were no ducks but there's a small group of them and it looks like they're all taking a nap all the boys the girls are probably out working feeding the ducklings but the boys are napping typical Good morning. I don't know if I've said that yet, have I? <laughs> it is Monday morning, Memorial Day, uh, May 30th, I think. Hold on, I'm pretty sure it's the 30th of May. I know it's Monday morning, yeah, the 30th of May. It is Memorial Day here in the US and um, it is just before lunch. Um, we're gonna go be spending lunch at the children's house at Rebecca and Polly's. And um, we're just um, gonna go over there in about an hour. We're just here doing some chores and stuff. Before we do that, I was editing the vlog upstairs. Bob was trying to sand some old art boards for me that I didn't like the way they turned out, but the mediums I used on it were just not sandable and they were gummy and the boards weren't very expensive. 
and it would cost more to get chemical stripper. And so anyway, he said, just buy new boards. He never says that you guys. So anyway, we had Hazel. I would say good morning, but it's just after lunch by like five minutes. <laughs> but anyway, it is Tuesday, May 31st. Again, just after lunch. Um, it's been an interesting morning already. <laughs> uh, started the morning with trying to fill the bird fe feeders up and got a bug, which I was hoping was a fly in the house and not a bee. We do get lots of giant bumblebees in the neighborhood. And anyway, it was a fly, which are also giant. Um, and because our part of our house is two-story open concept, it's a challenge to get them out of the house um, and or catch them to kill them if that's your option. Anyway, I did manage it, but it took a few minutes. Thought I was going crazy at first because I was like, do I, am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? But anyway, um, getting ready for some more art for therapy at some point. I'm waiting for some parts to come in. In the meantime, I think before I have lunch, I think I'm gonna work some more on this canvas here this morning. I mentioned before, I thought it needed highlights and shadows um, to really make it pop. I do like where it's at right now but I think it just needs, it needs a little more. These need to be darker, the shadows and the abstracted like foliage needs to be, there needs to be some pop there. So I'm gonna mix up some colors. I think I'm gonna use fluid acrylics. I'm gonna have my baby wipes handy in case I put marks I don't like and or to help blend. And I think I'll put gloves on so I don't have to wash my hands as much. Anyway, let's get that done. I'll be back. the trees in the backyard go wildly astray. I have a feeling that Rocky, our friendly neighborhood pet squirrel, has discovered that I re refilled the bird feeder trays. Uh, he likes to try to get to them before the birds do. <laughs> anyway, it's the small things in life you got to be happy about, right? All right, I'll be back. So you saw me working on this. I love the way it turned out. It just needed a few shadows and highlights. And yeah, it's wonderful now. I'm really in love with it. And um, now it's gonna be time to like redo the inspiration board, but not right this second. I have to figure out what that's gonna be next. But in the meantime, I have this other journal where I document things that I do in my life, like visiting the Frida Kahlo exhibit recently at the Portland Museum and things like that. So I save, 
ephemera and tickets and like take pictures. I take pictures ad nauseum, but anyway. Um, and then I, at some point, put them in my journal. So I painted some backgrounds. So they're drying. This one kind of got a little busy, but I really love it. And so anyway, so they're just gonna dry, sit here and dry. And then tomorrow, I'll start putting the things in there and I've printed the pictures and I've got all the stuff for the stuff because of the stuff. Yeah, anyway, so the desk is full of that project. And now I think though, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm going to, I need to get some more water and um, I'll sit and play my daily puzzle mind games to keep the old noggin sharp, you know? Um, while I'm waiting for Bob to have a break between meetings today and we're gonna go walking in his break between meetings um, with Asia somewhere in Asia. I don't know where, anyway. So we will go do that between meetings. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go sit and have some water and do some tablet stuff downstairs. So I'll be back. Everybody, it is Wednesday, June 1st, uh, 10.31 a.m. It's about an hour later than I intended it to be for me to be out in the car. Um, gotta go run a couple errands, including checking the P.O. box. What's become typical Wednesday errands. Yet again, I've got to do an extra trip to the grocery store because we are going to be having family at the house a couple different times in the next few days and I need some extra items so we're gonna go get that done um yeah anyway I have no excuse for just having a lazy lay-in this morning but um yeah I don't know <laughs> just this is what it is so uh, I've been working on catching my journal up upstairs which I'll show you all in a minute um, in the meantime, our new coffee table came. I know it looks very similar to the old one because we did like the old one. It just was too tall for the space because it really was an end table. Um, this one's shorter, has wood both on the bottom and the top rather than a basket. We've kind of set it up with decor and things that we already had in stock, uh, or in stock. We already had around the house, uh, including, of course, some art books on the bottom, including Matisse and Rembrandt and the Impressionists and yeah. Um, one of my favorite things to buy at the thrift shop, books. Anyway, so we got that together and done. Yay. All right. So now I can go upstairs and check on another order that we placed, which includes something for my dad in it. I don't know if it's gonna be in before he gets here tomorrow, but we'll see. And um, finish my journal. So okay. Okay. for a few years now, I've um, kept some sort of journal um, that comprises um, cards and receipts and brochures and pictures of things that I do in my life during the year. Um, and I've done it for quite a while now in different forms. I used to do sort of a scrapbooking junk journaling binder. And then I switched to the J small delusions journal, which um, I have a few of them. So I'm using them up um, when I'm done with those. I don't know what I'll use, but we'll see. Um, anyway, um, I just see something kind of falling out. I'm not sure what that is. So I'll have to take a look at that. Um, so anyway, so I do pages layouts kind of like this where I put pictures and um, receipts and, and do some writing about what's going on. This one was done April 24th, 2021. And that was when I got um, 
my first COVID shot. And um, there's another one celebrating our anniversary. And there's just a whole bunch of them. So, and at some point the journal won't close and yes, it looks like this. And I, you can see how many pages are still in there. I'm already like that. So anyway, when we went to um, Seaside recently for a long weekend, I of course kept a lot of things. And um, I don't always put them all in my journal, but this time I put most of them. And so I, Hold on. So I did this layout and I taped in the brochures and, uh, you know, business cards and put pictures and did some writing. And then I did this one. We had a lot of fun. And then this one was when we got back the next weekend when we got back, which is the Frida Kahlo exhibit at the Portland Art Museum. It's traveling the country and the world, I think. And anyway, the kids got me tickets, Bob and I tickets for Mother's Day and we went. That was so much fun. And I picked up this big sort of brochure thing while I was there. Um, and I didn't want to like get rid of it. I just taped the whole thing in, which makes the journal really fat, but that's like, fine. you know, for some one thing I bought was what that pink note was. Anyway, um, so I've had sort of the receipts sort of piling up for a little while now. And um, I pulled out my little pocket printer and I printed the photos and I had some sort of kids restaurant menus that had like word searches on them and stuff. And I did some of them and then cut the puzzle out and, and pasted it in. That was kind of fun. So anyway, yeah, it's just, you know, kind of one more thing to do. And um, I always have a few leftovers and this time I have some sort of paper that something I bought was wrapped in, which, I mean, I love the pattern. So I'm gonna keep that. And then when I was stamping one of the backgrounds for one of the pages, I had leftover paint on my mark making tools and I had a paper bag from something I bought. And so, I know, so I'll put them over there. I also had this brochure left over with one of Frida's paintings on it. So yeah, anyway, now I'm done. Now it's time to clean off the table because you know, it's not too messy, but yeah, it's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. It's in all the curb gutters. It's I, I don't know if you can see that it's flying in the air, but it's flying in the air. This is all the tree schmutz that to use one of my husband's words. Smokes. It's everywhere. It looks like it's snowing, but trust me, it's not snowing. It makes me want to cough and itch just looking at it. Let's go see what it's like by the duck pond. I can tell you right now, it looks like it snowed over there. Hold on, come on with me. Good Lord, look at all of this. It's not snow, I, t I swear. It's like in the mid seventies right now. Holy cow, I could stuff a pillow yeah. or 20. It's everywhere. I do think there's ducks in the pond. Yes. yes, there is. Good morning, everybody. I don't think I've vlogged yet today. It's just after 11 o'clock on Thursday, June 2nd, I think. Um, I just got out of counseling. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's needed, but uh, difficult. It's helping though. It's helping a lot. So anyway, if you're struggling with your mental health, I definitely would recommend seeing some mental health professionals. Start with your GP and Oh yeah, yesterday's mail finally came. Start with your GP and then go from there, but talk to somebody. All right, I'll try to include a link to an, a website that I think might be helpful in the, here in the US down below. If you have a website in the, for the country that you live that you'd like to send me the link, um, you can do that. Um, and I will add it to the video description. So anyway, all right. I'm gonna go chill for a little bit and then have some lunch after I open yesterday's mail, which finally came. Um, and then we'll take it from there. My dad is driving up today. He's spending the night tonight. Uh, Rebecca's gonna come over and the four of us will have dinner. 
I'm taking him to the airport tomorrow. He's driving, flying to Southern California to spend some time with my brother. Um, so this afternoon is going to be kind of busy, but we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Hello, everybody. So yes, we're out for an evening walk. It's Thursday, my dad is here. Hi. That's Rebecca, you know her. Yes, we have Derpy Dog up there with Grandpa. It's only Thursday night, but we're taking my dad to the airport tomorrow. And he's going to California to visit my brother. And uh, so we had a impromptu family dinner tonight. However, Rebecca's had a really hard day today. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you putting that? It's On the internet. YouTube. <laughs> it's okay. No one knows who you are. you've already been on YouTube. You're on the internet, Dad. You're already on the internet, so it doesn't matter. I got stage fright. <laughs> oh, you know. Not. You're just talking to us. Nobody knows. We won't tell them. Anyway. Oh, the street. I've been walking inside long. Rebecca had somebody... Um, not watch for oncoming traffic today. And her brand new Kia. Yes, a Kia Sorento. Very lovely. Yeah. Needs a whole new front end. It needs somewhere between three and five thousand dollars worth of work now. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> it's been a tough day for her. So we're gonna go for a little walk and then I'll fix it by giving her cookies. Because you know. Cookies help everything. Don't they? That's what I think. <laughs> Hey guys, it is June 3rd, just before 9 a.m. Uh, we are going to be taking my dad to the airport in about an hour. And then we have the rest of the day to ourselves. We are putting off family dinner night. Rebecca had a really bad day yesterday. Uh, I think I mentioned she had a fender bender with somebody who uh, violated her right away. It was their fault. Anyway, she's okay, but her brand new key is, yeah not okay so anyway she's exhausted Polyus is getting from back from California tonight the other kids are exhausted everybody's just like working hard and overtime and you know the world's getting back to its thing but they're all exhausted getting back to normal so anyway that's okay uh, we're gonna take a break and my sister comes into town Saturday evening she's gonna be here for a few days we'll discuss some upcoming travel plans with her and stuff. I'm sure I'll get her on camera at some point, <laughs> although she's a little camera shy. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's just a nice quiet morning. Can't say I'm mad about it. Bob and I are going to go, I don't know, do something this afternoon. We've got to run a couple of errands. We might try to go do something fun. I don't know. We'll take you with us if we do, though. I'll be back. Alright, so we went, we're out walking the neighborhood uh, in and around the houses per usual and we randomly stopped at an estate sale going on at the neighborhood. We live near an older community and so there's frequently an estate sale unfortunately because people pass away. Anyway, I found a um, older model Hitachi bread machine for $10. Seems to still be working and complete, it just needs a good thorough cleaning. Ten dollars, you guys. Even used on eBay or Etsy or any place else, they go for at least fifty minimum. So yeah, ten bucks. We haven't had a bread machine in a long time. It doesn't have the owner's manual, so I'll have to download that. But that can be done. All right. Now we're in Cook Park, and we're gonna go walk around. We haven't been here before, so gonna see what we can see. And I'll be back.
It's starting to drizzle, but we're gonna do a little bit more exploring. I do think we should bring the family back here and go for a walk around here. This thing is huge and goes all the way down to the Willamette River. I don't think we'll make that today, but wow. It is Saturday evening. It's after. Yeah, see, it, there's red. It's after seven o'clock. I don't know exactly what time it is. Uh, seven thirty-nine. Seven. There you go. Seven thirty-nine. We're watching TV. We just got finished with dinner. I have to do the dishes. The ten-dollar bread machine I bought made bread. I mean, we haven't tasted it yet, but it smells good. Anyway, good. we'll see. Um, so that's an interesting new adventure. Anyway, my sister is coming tonight from Utah. She's driving in now. She'll be here in about an hour or so. And she's going to be spending a few days with us before she goes up north more to see my dad and uh, all of that stuff. We have more things coming, but we're not going to discuss them right now. No. It'll be a few weeks. Anyway, um, it's been a fun week. We've had a good time. We went to the mall today. We did some shopping. We walked around. It was fun. Anyway, we will discuss some of that next week. And in the meantime, I hope you've all had a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Check out the video description for all the jazz that's in there. And maybe Fred and I will be back with a cooking video soon. Maybe. We haven't done one in a while. Maybe. Could Let me know. Fred. Yeah, maybe. Let me know if you want to see one. Anyway, that's it for now. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you next week. Bye.